Hey guys, it's Beer O'Clock on Ginger Beer and today we are reviewing this. This is Lervig Brewery from Norway and it is their Saskatoon Cheesecake Imperial Stout coming in at 12%. 12% in this 330ml tin. There's the design of it, quite an interesting design. It's one of those with the paper outing, which seems to be all the trend at the moment, but it does make it look quite attractive. Look at the colours on that. Interesting design as well. So it's an Imperial Stout, 12%, as I say, 330ml tin. Let's get it out of the tin <coughs> and into the glass. Right, there we go. So, as would be expected, jet black body with a very small, and I would say a disappearing, as we speak, uh, fawn cappuccino coloured head. That head is actually reducing as, as we speak. So, <coughs> jet black, small head on the top, not even one finger, and going smaller, I would say. Let's see what it's like on the nose. Ooh. Interesting smell. I'm not sure if it's a good or a bad thing, but... Okay, I'm getting, obviously getting a bit of sort of the cheese, typical cheesecake sort of smell through it. Again, the name of this is Saskatoon Cheesecake Imperial Stout. Blueberries. Blueberries, raspberries, um, what can I say, uh, raisins, that sort of, that chewy sort of raisin smell. Um, and a certain toffee type liqueur, um, you're getting whiffs of that in there as well. Interesting, uh, interesting smells. Like I say, I'm not 100% sure on it. Um, lacing up the side of the glass as you would expect, a little bit of it. Let's see what it's like on the tongue. Cheers guys. Wow. Wow. Okay, I've got to be honest, the smell does put you off a little bit. The taste, <coughs> the taste, I'm getting a real biscuity, that cheesecake taste is coming straight through. I don't know how to explain that, or describe that, but the biscuity base of it is there. Um, chocolate, as you would expect. The blueberries, malt loaf. Malt loaf is in there. What a strange taste. It's not a beer that I've known or I've seen. Like I say, it's all the way come from Norway. I can't even. No, very strange. Um, white chocolate, a little bit of white chocolate tastes there, the sweeter sort of chocolate. Um, well, I've said malt loaf already, I can taste that, even now I can taste it in my mouth. It pushes round your mouth quite well. Um, let's have another. Yeah, licorice. That's what it is. There's licorice pushing through now. And I'm not a great fan of licorice, that surprises me. That is a strange, strange, strange beer. <clears throat> mm, interesting. It's got a bitter. It's got a. It's got a bitter finish. Which yeah, it's it's sort of sticky. It's got this sticky sweetness. I mean, from the description of it, from the strength of it, from the look of it, um, it's got a sweet. Why is it? I'm trying to. 
It's sweet and sticky to begin with, and then there's just a bitter finish that comes right up over the top of that, and I wasn't expecting that. Very strange beer. I don't think you'd have too many of them, but an interesting one to try. This is Saskatoon Cheesecake Stout, Imperial Stout, 12% by Lervig Brewery in Norway. If you can find it and you want to try it, there's other ones that I might try before this, I think. But it's an interesting one. It might be good with a cheese board. <sighs> Who knows? Anyway, try it if you want, guys. Cheers. And as usual, button at the bottom for sub subscribing. Please do. Please share. Drop us a line on anything about the beers. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Cheers, guys. quite strong alcohol there you go I'm back I'm not going anywhere yet it's got an overpowering alcohol taste and that's just pushing it's covering over any taste you can get it's not completely pleasant I would say you just lose a little bit of the taste of all the things that I've tried to describe because the the presence of the alcohol just burns through it there you go a little bit extra for you so cheers guys this time I really am going.